Hi guys! This Vlogmas video is my November favorites. It's my first favorite, uh, my first yeah, favorite, yeah, video I'm making. So I'm starting out with my favorite lip products, which I've been loving for the last month, November. Um, the first one is the Body Shop on Libby balm in strawberry. I just, yeah, I just rediscovered it and I've been using it non-stop because my lips were getting so dry. So I'm just in love with this. It's really moisturized my lips. As you can see, I've not used a lot of it and I ordered last year, so it can really last a long time. And that was one of them. And the next are uh, Max Factors Experience Sheer Gloss Balms. They have uh, SPF 10 in them, so they're great here for winter. And they are also super moisturizing. This is Coral. That's how it looks. Let's see. Can't see anything. Yep. It's just like a gloss and a balm, two in one. And this other one is Rose Quartz. Let's see. It's slightly darker. But these are so great. I really love these. And I've also been using them a lot. And the next lip products are my Maybelline lipsticks. I have five of them now. Uh, the one I have on is, let me see. Yeah, Kiss Pro this one. Very pale pink frosted frosted lipstick. And then my favorite of all, which I just recently bought, is this. It's um, Rose Pearl. It's a perfect nude for me. I'm seriously in love with this lipstick. I'm just so in love with it. I love it. And then I also got Pink Pearl. It looks like this. It's a very pinkish color. And then, if you remember, with the summer, I got this Mango Diamonds. Very pretty orangey coral color. I, I really love this. And I also got Magic Mauve. A color I really, really, really love. It's a perfect movie, yeah, purplish color here for the winter. And I've been using this also a lot lately. I just love this color. And just the packaging of this the case itself. It's such a gorgeous purple. That was the lip colors. The next favorite will be mascara. And uh, I I bought this just recently and I've been using it, what is it, for the past week and that was November and I love it. I love it. I Now I know why all everybody is saying that the Great Lash Mascara by Maybelline is super good. I concur. I love it and this is in very black and the, the wand itself is actually quite good. It's quite good. And I'm also wearing that today. I just love this. It's a great, great mascara. So if we, for those who haven't tried it yet, do it. Do it. It's worth the money. Next favorites are eyeliner. The first one will have to be the Maybelline yeah, Eye Studio Gel Liner. I love it. It lasts so long through the entire day. I'm wearing it on my top lash liner today. I just love this. It And when I have it on my waterline, it stays on all day. I don't have to reapply it or anything. I just love this. And maybe you can see I've been using quite a lot. I've been using quite a lot. And I applied with my angled eyeliner brush. It's actually a quite good brush for it. And the next one is um, 
is a Danish brand, which I have been talking about, well, which I talked about, what is it, last year, I think. It's um, a brand called Meet and Show. In English, it's um, Earth of the Nile. It's a great liquid black eyeliner. It's not a felt tip, it's a brush. Let me see if I can get most of the eyeliner out. It's so precise with the application. You can really create a great cat eye wing with this. I just love it. When I, I had, this was my first um, black uh, liquid eyeliner I bought with the, with, where the applicator was a brush. And I was so impressed with it just off the hook. It, it's so good. It's so good. And then another eyeliner, in this a pencil eyeliner, in this also by the same uh, Danish brand. Uh, I just love this. Um, just to mention, with the, these, this Danish brand I'm talking about, it has zero parabens or perfume in it, so it's a bonus. It's a bonus. This is actually a quite good pencil eyeliner. You, but the downside of it, I have to reapply it on my waterline. But anyway, it's so good. It's so good. That's just my opinion. I love it. I love it. Next favorite is um, brow products. And uh, I just rediscovered my Max Factor brow pencil again. And I love it. This is uh, number two in hazel. That's my color. My tone. I love it. I love it. I it's a thing that, that I just went on to use uh, what is it? The Pen Cosmetics uh, brow pen instead because uh, I just wanted to try it out and then fell in love with it. But now I really discovered this, so now this is part of my daily brow routine now again, and I just simply adore it. I adore it. And onto my favorite eyeshadows. I have two eyeshadow palettes. I have my trusty. Asian M palettes. It has, let me see, one, two, three, four, nah, one moment. I'm, I suck at math, so I'm, so I'm just gonna calculate this. Let me see. It, 36. There's, there are 36 eye colors, and you can just mix and match, mix and match them as you like, and so. And you have seen me using this palette, yeah, by now at least a hundred times. I just love this palette, and I just bought it when it's just three years ago, and it's still, it's still here. And you know that I just recently bought this eyeshadow palette and yeah, blush palette, two two in one, by the brand called Technique, by a company called Basque. I love these 12 colors. I'm, on my eyelid today I'm wearing the the white and the light gray and uh, this blue. This blue. And then I, I'm so impressed with these colors. It's just, they are so pigmented plus they are matte. I love matte colors. You can just check out the look here. It's just such gorgeous colors. They may have a little shine to them, but you actually don't see it because they are matte. They're so matte. I just love them. I I love them. I just love them. And maybe I should show you how pigmented they really are. Let's just take... Let us see. Should we take... Yeah, we take the red one. See? It's so pigmented. I can just smear it. And still there. I just love these colors. I just love it. I just love it. Continue on with my favorites. And now we come to blushes. I, uh, you know, I've bought this Expert Wear Blush by Maybelline in pink amber. I love this blush. I really love this blush. It's the, just the best blush I've ever tried. Let's see. Maybe you can see. It's very pale. But when you put it on your skin, you can actually just see it. And my other favorite blushes is also in this palette. A yeah, peachy pink blush. I've been wearing a lot. And this pink color, which I'm wearing today. These are also incredibly pigmented. 
you can see these two fingers. Incredibly pigmented. I just love it. I love a good a good blush that has a great pigment pigmentation. I love it. I just love it. So now we come to my favorite, yeah, foundations, concealer, and powder. It's just all in one. And my favorite concealer, which I've been using uh, a lot, is uh, by the Danish brand I was talking about. This is the Duo Concealer. There's nothing left with the stick side, but there's plenty uh, le left with the liquid. And I just seriously love this concealer. I've been, uh, before I got this, I was using uh, the Max Factor concealer. So, and I, I, I liked it, but not a lot, but this um, I love a lot. Um, and with the foundation, I really am into Maybelline Stream Matte Mousse Foundation. Yeah. And I am, you know, you can see it there, I'm in light porcelain. This is a great foundation. And you can see I have used very much of it. I've used a lot of it lately. So, it's just part of my uh, winter foundation routine and continue on with the Maybelline products I love the Dream Matte Powder and this is in Vanilla Rose I love this compact I have it with me everywhere I can't live without it so I have it in my yeah in my bag my purse and I I, I have it with me everywhere and, and now I'm just you as you can see I'm using the this yeah sponge or whatever it's called uh, just to yeah touch up great little mirror I love this powder more than anything and it's just very good for yeah fair fair skin on to favorite nail polishes I have uh, two favorite nail polishes the first one is the one I'm wearing on my nails today it's Splash of Grenadine by Essie I love this color it's it's um yeah sort of also I also think this is a sort of a uh, Christmas color it's not too dark or not too light it's just a very good in-between color very good in-between color and I really love this color so I would say it's probably one of my favorites among all my Izzy nail polishes and the other one is also one by Izzy that I also that I got recently it's a um, Bordeaux very deep deep red color it's gorgeous I could wear this all the time and I think I would, when I've removed this splash of grenadine from these nails I will put this on because I, I just love this it's a perfect fall winter color so I am in love with this color really in love and now we come on to the the hair products uh, it's very beauty related now we come to my hair products the first one is from my um, yeah, beauty hair store called Mesa's. It's from their own line called um, yeah the Stripes in English, and the, it's 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 that it's in Danish. This this says Luxus Balsam Spray. In English, it means Luxury Conditioner Spray. It's amazing. You can spray it in wet hair and dry hair. I, I usually uh, spray it in my wet hair when I when I've been in the shower but you can it's also great here for the winter because my hair gets so so um yeah electric and dry so I spray it in and then my hair is good again I, and it has done wonders for my hair like very much I, I, I can't remember which number this bottle is uh, maybe number 10 or something, I, something I, it's just my all-time favorite I don't I'm not very fond of those um yeah, conditioners you have to squeeze out from the from a tube and then yeah mix it into your hair. It's much easier with the um, conditioner spray, much easier. And also another thing is um, also one by my beauty health store and uh, also from the same series, the stripes. It's the heat protection spray. I really love it. I have not much left, but I I really love it. It has also done wonders for my hair. My before when I got this, I just had, it was just, I blow dried it like it was, and but my hair was so 
not good. Not good. I had to get my mom to cut out the um, the split ends all the time. But when I got this, um, my hair, yeah, after what it was, two washes or something like that, and I used it uh, th this two times when I had to blow dry my blow dry my hair. My hair was just like that good again. It so if you're not in if you haven't tried heat protection sprays, do it. It it just is a it sort of a uh, in, yeah. It creates such a, a barrier between uh, the hair and the hot air from your blow dryer. So it's just amazing, amazing. And my hair has never been better because of this. And also my conditioner spray. Yeah. And I think, yeah, that was that for my November favorites. I hope you enjoyed it. And also were so... Ah, never mind, I, I blabber now. So I think we're just gonna end it here and I hope you really enjoyed this. My event, my winter, you know, my November favorites and I will see you tomorrow. Take care guys. Bye.